YouTube, it's Mariana and I've already tried filming this once and my alarm went off and then cut off everything on my phone. Um, so I'm going to refilm this again. Um, this is my haul video that I've been promising you guys to add the ages. Um, I'm doing it in two sections. I'm doing it in clothes and miscellaneous and then beauty and makeup just because it won't fit all into one video and it will get a little bit boring. So I'm going to just go through it as far as possible and just go 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 and um, the first two things I got are from Wilkinson's and they're the uh, Dylon dye stuff for clothes and I've got a green one in tropical green and a Bahama blue um, really really lovely colours um, I'm gonna do a tutorial on dip dyeing and just generally dyeing and how to use these um, so I'll keep you posted on that uh, another thing I got from Wilkinson's are these four tumblers with the Union Jack on them. I think this was $1.99 or $2.99. It's fairly cheap and um, me and my other half are hopefully going to be moving in semi soon. So I thought they'd make quite a nice little thing to have in the flat. Um, then I bought some Yankee candles. Um, I bought these at the Yankee candle shop in the Outlet Village in Swindon, uh, which is where I'm originally from. Um, and I got a Yankee candle in... Lucky Shamrock, which smells like freshly cut grass. It smells divine. I love it. Um, it was originally eight, $18.99. I got it for a tenner bargain, and it's one of the big ones. Um, and then I got a set of three, which was £5. I did give one to my mum, um, which was the, I think it was Waterfalls or something. And it's their Simply Home range. I've got cherry vanilla, very sweet, very much like um, strawberry butter cake. And then I got the garden sage, which smells gardeny esque. But yeah, um, so that's, yeah, I got that. And then I went to Topshop. I bought quite a few sort of bits and bobs from Topshop. I bought some jewellery. I bought this bracelet. Um, this was, I think, 150 I think it's 150 I really like it because it's kind of pastely but still punky. So I really like that. And then I got this ring which I think you wear sort of more like this and it's sort of like a, a you know like a vampire tooth I suppose uh, and that was pound fifty again and then I got an above the knuckle ring with a little skull I've got a slight obsession with skulls still and that was only a pound um, I did leave one of my rings at my mum's house and it's the silver one with the Star of David I think Mia says has that one I've seen it on someone else's channel. Um, so I bought that as well. From Topshop I bought some socks. These were all £1.50. I couldn't really pass up the offer because normally they're free for eight. And, well, I bought this for £6.50. Is it £6.50? No. £4.50. Bargain. Um, so I got this one with a little panda that says hey. I got this one with a little rabbit and a balloon. And then just some chicks. <laughs> uh, so I got them all one pound fifty, and then the last thing I got in Topshop were these ballet shoes. Now, sorry, I have worn them, and I wore them in the rain uh, because it wasn't supposed to rain, but then it did rain. And it's just these like pinky metallic ballet pump shoes, and they are perfect for work. They're in a size four. I think they cost me a fiver, so if they break, it's not like I've lost a lot of money. Um, but I really have been enjoying wearing those. From River Island, I got this amazing ring, which, oh my god, it's like a meteor on my ring, on my finger. Um, I really like this, and I'm hoping to sort of wear this more in the winter time when you can wear a plain black dress, quite dramatic makeup, and just have one statement piece of jewellery, and I want it to be this, because it's amazing, and I love it. It feels real as well, I mean, it's not, but, and that was in the sale for three pounds. Um, another thing I bought was this top that I'm wearing now, and it's from Dorothy Dorothy Perkins, and it's just a sort of gold metallic crinkled shirt, sort of quite loose fitting. I thought it'd be sort of good for going out, but then also quite good for work, because um, I work in sort of quite a relaxed environment with my office. I can kind of wear what I want within reason. Um, and then I got these little flat forms. They are absolutely gorgeously cute. They have got a slight heel. Um, but you don't really feel it, and they're from Clark's. I saw them in the sale window. I think they were twenty four ninety nine in the sale. They just have cute little detail at the top. I think they're really cute, really gorgeous, and sort of perfect for summer. I've been wearing them quite a lot and scuffed up the front of them. 
Um, but yeah, I really like those. And Clarks tend to do sort of shoes that I can wear quite a lot without having to go, oh. <laughs> and then I've been lusting after this guy pants for absolute ages. I cannot justify for the life of me spending 70 quid on a pair of trousers. So I thought, I was, I was on the ASOS website and I was having a look and my um, boyfriend was in need of a jumper. So I had a look and there was one jumper that he liked and was in sale so I thought, oh, I'll get it. And I thought, oh, hang on a minute, what are these? These aren't disco pants, but they look very much like disco pants. It's the disco shorts. Well, not shorts. Um, what are they called? Leggings. That's it. So it's the disco pant leggings and they're high waisted and they look exactly the same. They just don't have the pockets and obviously the sort of front detailing. They still suck you in really good. I've tried on the disco pants and as for the time being, just to get myself used to wearing shiny material out and about, these are great and they were £33, which I can justify. I know they are leggings and that's still quite expensive, but I do really like them. I've had good wear out them. The only thing that slightly bothers me is you do get slight camel toe like quite badly with them and it's just like ooh, I don't want that why is that happening to me um but yeah another day another story um I hope you're well if you'd like to um rate comment subscribe like me on twitter instagram and tumblr and all that kind of stuff um feel free i'll leave all the links below um i have been updating my blog a little bit more of recent so if you want to check that out that'd be awesome as well and i will see you in part two of the massive haul